I wonder if you can hear this background noise. It's downtown Manhattan, man. It's just non-stop fucking construction. It's insane. It starts at like 7 a.m. Hey, Brit. Brit W. This is a response to you. Uh, you actually sent me a comment about Fukushima and wanted to know what I thought about it. And, um, a lot, actually. I've been kind of stressed about it since it happened. I mean, silly way to put it, but my initial thought was we could pour gold into the reactor chamber and the molten gold would cool the reactors so that we could take them out. Because from what I know about gold, it um, contains radiation or blocks radiation. It still might be possible. I, I've never like that was just a thought I had. I, I've never tested it or or seen that in experimentation work right. But for whatever reason, it was the first thing that came to my mind, and people looked at me funny when I said it. So I thought maybe I was onto something. You know, I hear they're going up and down the west coast of California and taking like radiation readings. Um, Infowars, Jakari Jackson and Alex Jones, who's producing it, basically. They're like 10 times, I think 30, you know, you get a safe limit of like 30 whatever per whatever, and it's like 350. Um, this one surfer said he could smell it. He was losing his hair, may or may not be related. Uh, There's a, a whale born with two heads, which probably is related to it. I, I don't, you know, probably. Um, starfish are like dissipating, they're like melting in the sea. It's overwhelming and it's almost overwhelming. It's overwhelming like when the World Trade Centers got hit by airplanes. When that happened, I remember having this feeling of like, yeah, like part of me was like good and I didn't know, I didn't know why I felt that. It wasn't like I'd ever had any animosity towards anyone really and I was just like, oh, that was weird, like excited, like I was watching an action movie. And I kind of had that feeling with Fukushima good you know this is what we deserve you we, we've we've been doing this dirty ass nasty shit and now it's like really apparent that that's what we did that being said i'm not a proponent of destroying everything we've come a long way as a species and i'd like to evolve to a place where we don't have to destroy each other and where the earth isn't going to vomit all over us kill us with its acid They're sending like homeless people in to clean it up in Japan. They'll go around and they'll find people like on the street. They'll be like, are you hungry? We can feed you if you come clean, clean up Fukushima. And they'll be like, okay. It's really concerning. I wish I had some answers. We have poor gold in the reactor. Is that an answer? Well, I'm not going to get behind that because I don't know what it's going to do. I... What do you what do you think we should do? Do you have an answer? Are we all going to stand around and watch for the next ten thousand years while we radiate the oceans and you know make it pretty much unlivable? Or is someone going to try something and it's going? First, you know, I think what we should do is TEPCO. I don't know if you've heard of TEPCO. It's the uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company, I think, and it's a private company that is in charge of overseeing the Fukushima disaster cleanup or relief or whatever you want to call it. Japanese government's letting this private corporation take care of it, much like BP in the Gulf oil spill. And I think it might be about time. Uh, they pulled some, uh, some of the rods out. There were like, uh, I don't know how many hundreds of rods are in there, but they pulled like 19 of them out or something. I don't know if it's, if it's time to uh, get a, a global consortium together to take over the cleanup and make sure we do it right and fast and maybe give it a little more media attention than Animal Planet. Not that, you know, I don't have anything against Animal Planet, but like, you know, there, if there's one thing in the world everyone should be focusing on right now, it's the radiation leak in the Pacific. 